Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Journey to Become Wealthy. My name is Kelvin Reed, and today is Friday. Hopefully, you guys made some money. Hopefully, you had a great day in the market. I mean, you've been profiting from some of this green this week. We've had a short week, but we've had a good week, if I, if I may say so myself. Now, I do believe that there may be more good news ahead, but I don't know yet. Before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make videos. So, all right, today is Friday. We saw a lot of green this week. Everybody's saying four days of green. Today, we ended up very, very flat. So, it didn't hurt us at all. We didn't lose it. You guys know normally what happens is once we see all this green, we lose it. We, we'd see a big red day. And this week, we just have not seen that. On top of that, to me, in the short term, the market is looking bullish. I know we've been talking about it, but the market is looking bullish. One thing we also talk about, hey, when we finally realize there's a recession, we're usually already on the way back up. So are we in a recession? Are we already on the way back up? I don't know, but we're going to look at some things today to kind of determine that. And I'm just going to draw my opinion. Again, you got to know I'm not a financial advisor, but I do get out here and do my research. So let's take a look at the market first. The Dow Jones is down 0.15%. S&P 500 down 0.083%. The Nasdaq up 0.12% and the Russell down 0.014%. All very, very flat numbers. I mean, it didn't take a hit at all. Um, we saw big companies like Tesla with good news actually run up today doing great, doing numbers on, on the charts today. And we love to see that. Um, we also saw some of the small caps, some of the China stocks actually make gains today. Um, one thing that I did think was going to be big for Tesla, especially in the after hours, look, it is actually up $18 in the after hours. Um, Tesla, a lot of people were feeling bad about Elon purchase of Twitter. And now there's news rumors out that Elon no longer wants to buy Twitter. So we see the stock price soar. So apparently people really were not feeling confident in Elon's purchase of Twitter. And the fact that he, him saying that he doesn't want it anymore, I guess sent investors for a ball. Like they're, they're excited and prices are back up in the 770 range now. 770, I think it was, yeah, 776. So that's definitely a, a major thing. If you had a call on Tesla Day, if you watch my Instagram, you know I was trading calls on Instagram Day. So if you held a call on Tesla Day into Monday, you're making money. And congratulations on that. Um, one thing I did want to look at, Oil prices are steadily coming down. They're actually staying pretty flat, but they're coming down. Hopefully, you guys are seeing some of that at the pump. We actually see today is they're back. It's back up two percent on the WTI crude oil and the Brent crude oil is actually up two point three percent. But you are definitely seeing some relief at the pump. I saw old gas. It's been over four dollars. I want to say for the past three months. I saw it under four dollars today. Um, if you watched my video a month ago, you, then you know I said, hey, I believe that around August, but either the middle or end of August, gas prices will have come back down to some reasonable prices. I believe that the president, along with pressure from the government, is going to cause these oil companies, along with the, the local gas stations, to lower their prices. And I actually think that is going on now. So I may have been a little late. Maybe it'll happen this month in July, but either way, Hopefully we see some relief at the gas pump. Another exciting piece, um, the fear and greed index. It is up. It is back to a 30. We are getting closer to that neutral number again. You guys see here, a week ago we were sitting at that 24. That 24, we were seeing nothing but blood and pain in the markets. And it really, really hurt. Now, the news that I have for you today, the analysis. All right, let's check it out. Let's look at our chart. And this is the spot. This is the spot. You all were with me the last time we charted this up here. You see I still have it here. We charted this up here. I try not to remove anything from my charts unless it just gets too, you know, too much. And, and I keep it pretty good. Um, so here, we saw this bottom. I told you all up here, if we see it come down, we saw it, we plan, I, I saw it stop it here. And it actually stopped here on this day. It came way further down, gap down. But look at this. We're seeing a trend. This is an actual trend. It came down. We have a low. Came up. Did not hit out a new low. Came back up. And I see the potential of us coming down a little bit into next week. But from there on, I think we're going up. I see us being bullish. 
And I want you all to look at this, right? Look at this. Now look at what we have here. And you all can tell me which chart does this look like to you. Um, to me, it looks like either the double bottom or the inverse head and shoulders. I see either one of those coming. That is definitely good news for us because that means the markets are going to go back up. We're going to see some bullish activity. And that's what we love to see, right? So if you all can see it, which one does this look like to you all? I got them side by side. So hopefully y'all enjoy this and hopefully we see it. Um, you can even take the time here, take a screenshot, look at the price levels I have marked. Because if it bounces here, I fully expect it to go back up here. Um, that's only if it bounces here though. And you all know when we're taking our trades, we wait for confirmation. If it comes back down here, uh, I would even give it as low as about right here. So let's see if I can drag it down as about right here. Yeah, about as low as right there. So that is 379.54 if it comes back down that low. Hopefully it doesn't. And I, I expect as long as it doesn't break this low here, the low of 373, I expect us to be bullish maybe for the next two or three weeks. Of course, it's never a straight line. It's never a straight line. It's always up and down. But this is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting us to see some profits. Hey, I'm hoping and praying that we do. And this is based off charts and based off historical, you know, looking at history. So if this doesn't happen, hey, we took a shot at it and we gave it a try. But that's always okay, right? Because we always keep making money, always keep trying. And that's just how we do it. Um, that's what I got for you guys today. Hopefully you liked the chart. Hopefully you got you a screenshot. Hopefully you learned how I use the charts versus the trend patterns. And you can make some money in this market, especially next week. I think next week is going to be another big week. Um, we have earnings coming back up. Hopefully earnings doesn't beat us down too bad with lower expected earnings. If the companies don't meet their earnings, even at these lower exp expectations, we could see more red. But hopefully we don't come back down below our low. And I think we're going to see some green on the next couple weeks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you for joining the journey to come wealthy. And I'll see you guys later.